Howdy guys, Bucky Laura here. The thumbnail has just caused me tremendous stress trying to hold up all of those books. So I'm like really stressed out and hot now. But I'm bringing you a book haul. It's an end of term, end of year book haul for me. I am really fortunate in that the that I'm a teacher and the children that I work with every day are incredible. And at the end of the year I'm so so lucky that some of them feel um, feel like they want to buy me a gift and that's really lovely and really sweet but what I like even more than that is the, how thoughtful they are that actually a lot of the gifts are really really speak to me I'm not going to go through all of them I'm only bringing you the book related ones um, plus a couple of other books that I happen to have picked up but I just wanted to share them with you because I think they're really thoughtful and amazing so where to start I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll start with the random books that are completely unrelated to the end of term book haul I went to the library that's the long and the short of it and I just our library's closed for a refurb, but they had a mobile library, which is very exciting, except for the fact that I get serious motion sickness, so I have to stand very still and can't be on the bus while anybody else is moving around. But anyway, I picked up some books. They're all space-related because I'm teaching space in September, and I don't know, I just fancied some non-fiction space stuff. So I got 100 things to know about space, because I just thought I kind of liked how picturey it was. I mean, these are all kids' books. But I, it will give me the knowledge that I can then impart on the youth. Uh, Why Spacemen Can't Burp, which is by Mitchell Simon Simmons, twice winner of the Blue Peter Best Book with Facts Award. There ain't no better uh, qualification than that. And then the one I'm most excited about is Beyond the Sky, You and the Universe by Dara O'Brien. Dara O'Brien. Uh, I think he's absolutely hilarious. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Really, really. So I picked those up at the library. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah, I randomly uh, stole, stole is not the right word, gave this book a new home. Basically we had the whole book sale thing at the end of the year and then there were some books that were left over that would go to the world of books. I don't know what that is, but anyway, I saw this in there, it's Caitlin Moran's More Anthology. And I read her How to Be a Woman book and really, really enjoyed it. Speaks to the feminist in me, but also it's quite humorous. So I decided I would give that a whirl as well you know, saw it in a pile of books and took it. Um, then I got a selection of gifts which are most kind and I just want to share with you because I think they're amazing and they're really really thoughtful. So one uh, young girl in my class, who shall remain nameless, bought me a, a sort of parcel of booky things which I thought was really cool. So she got me this little um, bo ooh, bookworm badge which, you know, is me all over. Uh, she also got me this fan, which is like a book fan. I mean, it's got, it looks like a book on the side and then it's the pages inside. And to be honest, it is absolutely roasting today, so I need that. Uh, she got me a book light and some other stuff as well, which I can't remember what it was. But it was all book related, which I thought was really thoughtful of her and really, really sweet. Um, another girl in my class got me this book, which on the face of it looks incredible because it's rolled dull, you know, it's sort of anthology of a few of his it's got that old yellowing pages thing but even better when I opened it I was like this is an amazing gift and then I opened it and you can't really tell inside it's cut out so the pages are like glued together and then she's cut out the middle section and she had some homemade brownies in there which was really lovely and you know amazing and I said I'm going to use this to keep secret stuff in so if you ever want to like break in my house and steal my Let's move on. Um, and then the last sort of book related gift that I was given, that's not right, but, but anyway, the last gift that I was given that was select, I don't know, I don't know what the words is, but is The Marvels by Brian Selznick, which is apparently, the girl tells me, the second book following on from Hugo Cabret, the invention of Hugo Cabret, because Earlier in the year, I had lent her The Invention of Hugo Cabret, Cabret, Cabret which I own, uh, and she would borrowed it and then brought it back, and then I just thought it was, it's like the most thoughtful thing in the world, that she thought about that, lent or bought me the second book, but it's also like got this beautiful gold page edge thing. I'm sure page edge thing has a better word, but it's absolutely beautiful, and now I have to hurry up and read both of them, because, you know... Timers are running out. Let's put these up here too. Let's put some more books up here because they're looking empty. 
And then last but not least, and I don't mean least at all because they are amazing, uh, a few children, three different children in my class uh, bought me vouchers to buy books with, which, oh my word, gets me excited. So I have, I went to the bookshop today and bought myself six books using them. So I'm going to do them in pairs um, and pretend that each child bought me two books. They were all, I think, all buy one get one half price because I love a good deal. I love books and I also love bargains, so speaks to my heart right there. Um, anyway, moving on. So I started with um, middle grade and I got The Boy at the Back of the Class by Anjali Q. Rauf, which I probably should have learned to pronounce. And then I also got The House with Chicken Legs, which by Sophie Anderson. I've heard amazing things about this. Uh, the girl who got me the uh, Hugo Cabret book uh, was telling me about this and I think she was anyway it may have been somebody else I talk about books a lot um, and it's you know it's getting loads of praise sounds amazing and I really want to read it so is it no? so anyway that goes on there uh, I also saw this book I was unsure which one to get as like the buy one get one half price and I went with this. It, basically, there's a new boy in class and then it turned out that he was a refugee and I thought, I'm intrigued by this, but it's also a book I'd like to have in my classroom. So once I've read it, it shall be going there. Uh, then I went to the YA section because I was, you know, broadening my horizons. I'm not just picking all the same. And I picked up The Survival Game by Nikki Singer, which just the cover is beautiful. And then also Otherworld by Jason Seagull. When I say it, it sounds like the bird, seagull, but Jason Seagull. He's the funny guy who I may or may not have strong emotional feelings for. But anyway, so I picked these two up. Uh, I think they just speak to me. They speak like that Hunger Games, Maze Runner thing, whatever that is. I mean, this starts with Vari owns only two things, a gun with no bullets and her identity papers. She's got to survive. It's the survival game. It sounds amazing. It sounds dystopian. Love dystopia. And then Otherworld. There are no screens. There are no controls. You don't just see and hear it. You taste, smell and touch it too. In the new reality, there are no rules to follow, nor laws to break. Kind of sounds dystopian and definitely sounds sci-fi. Oh no, I am running out of space. And then finally, I headed to the adult section to get buy one, get one free. And I got How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. And Why Mummy Drinks by Jill Sims. Yes, Jill Sims. So I don't think I have to explain why I'm buying this book, but basically Span read it recently. I'm going to see Matt Haig in October. I love his work and I knew that I wanted to pick one up and she said it was amazing. So I, I it was the only one. It was the only one in the buy one, get one half price as well, which shouldn't be a deciding factor. But when you're as tight as me, it really is. And then uh, Why Mummy Drinks by Jill Sims. It sounds, firstly, I mean, it speaks to my heart. But secondly, uh, she's coming to the Salisbury Literary Festival too. So when I saw it, I went, oh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to see her, but it, it would be nice to read a book by her. So that's my little book haul. I mean, I, I do feel so fortunate and I, I kind of want to make this video as a thank you to those children who are so kind and not just to these children who brought me these gifts, although, you know, top marks to you guys, but also all the children who bought me gifts because they are so generous and end of term is a manic thing, especially when you teach the year group I teach and it's, it's, been, re it's been really emotional. Gonna miss those guys. I've taught them three years in a row and they are off to secondary school now emotional thanks guys it's been beautiful if you've read any of these books let me know and if you think i have a book buying problem don't let me know i know i do thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time bye bye